Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. According to General Hospital spoilers, Spencer Cassidine and Trina Robinson are growing closer every day, so Esme Prince is probably out of luck if she ever wants to get back together with her ex-boyfriend. Esme is unable to recall her dark history, but Spencer can. Even if Spencer and Trina weren't a couple, he could never forgive Esme for the terrible things she did. Tolerating Esme long enough to assist her in raising Ace Cassidine is one thing, but opening his heart to her in any significant way is quite another. In addition to drugging Trina and framing her for the crime, Esme also initially leaked the tape showing Jocelyn Jacks and Cameron Weber having a sexual relationship. Whether Esme remembers it or not, all of it is still relevant, so let's hope that the relationship between Esme and Spencer is over, especially considering that she had him in mind from the beginning. Esme should concentrate on finding a new lover instead, which takes us to a potential indication in the October 11 episode. Esme has a smaller social circle than Spencer, and Kevin Collins hinted in that episode that this would cause problems. Esme is secluded because she solely cares for Ace and works, which causes her to become attached to Spencer. Esme should venture out and make some new pals. It might be good for everyone. Unfortunately, depending on who Esme meets, there may be a chance for disaster. Perhaps now would be a great moment for the program to introduce a fresh male lead around Esme's age. It can be the case that a bad lad makes his debut and goes on to date Esme. If Esma allows the new man in her life to get to know Ace and aid with his care, that can pose some complications in her co-parenting relationship with Spencer. Spencer worries about Esma's judgment in letting people near Ace because he doesn't trust just anyone around his younger brother. Stay with us for updates on if Esme might find herself a new boyfriend sooner or later since this would be an interesting new direction to take in this plot. Esme and Spencer are expected to argue in the upcoming weeks, according to General Hospital spoilers. So be on the lookout for information on if this may lead Esme to seek attention elsewhere. Vanessa Marcel has played the adored Brenda Barrett on screen for General Hospital for a very long time. However, her favorite love, Sunny, frequently makes reference to her character. However, the actress now has a hilarious reason to rejoice. This is because the amazing performer is celebrating her 55th birthday today. She was born on October 15, 1968, in Indio, California. Marcel honed her acting chops in a number of theater shows before landing her big break on the well-known ABC daytime drama. On September 18, 1992, she made her GH debut. She rapidly became a fan favorite, in part because of her pairing with Sonny Corinthos played by Maurice Bernard. The pairing garnered positive feedback from viewers, as did the addition of spoiler Jasper Jacks, who was portrayed by Australian Ingo Raidmacher. Marcel received two Daytime Emmy Award nominations during her stint as a contract player on the show, which lasted until September 11, 1998. Marcel acted in two silver screen productions, The Rock and 976 Wish, while filming the television movie To Love, Honor, and Deceive. Following her departure from G.H., Vanessa Marcel had an appearance on the ABC police drama High Incident before becoming Gina Kincaid on the cast of Beverly Hills 90,210. She remained a cast member for one complete season and the first half of another. She subsequently received parts in the independent films This Space Between Us and Nice Guys Sleep Alone as well as the character of Detective Carmen Oliveira in an episode of NYPD Blue on ABC. Marcel won the 2003 Daytime Emmy for Outstanding Supporting Actress after a brief one-year return to General Hospital. She joined the cast of NBC's comedy drama Las Vegas after completing her contract, playing casino hostess Sam Marquez for the show's entire five-season run. Since 2014, Marcel has filmed a number of made-for-television movies, 
primarily for the Lifetime and Hallmark Networks after returning for a one-year run in her GH role. Report on General Hospital spoilers Hamilton in terms of love. Finn has struggled over the years. He once thought that only his daughter Violet Finn would be a constant in his life. Finn Chase has welcomed his brother Harrison Chase and their father, Gregory Chase, into his life after making the effort to rectify his own wrongs. Finn is now considering life and the people he cares about as being more precious because he is expected to lose a member of the joyful family earlier than anticipated. It turns out that in order to maximize the time they all have left, he may need to take a significant step in his relationship with Elizabeth Baldwin. There are rumors that Finn will ask Elizabeth to be his wife. We're hoping he goes all out and proposes, but it would definitely be better if he waits until after to take a shower in the locker room. Since they rekindled their relationship, Elizabeth hasn't voiced a single criticism about Finn. When she abandoned the man earlier this year, she was suddenly prepared for all he was. Does that imply that she will be prepared for the next stage, which is marrying a doctor? It seems likely to take place. In addition to their joyful news, which this family desperately needs, Gregory's battle with ALS is apparently about to intensify. Finn might feel that he should prioritize the wedding plans and let them take the lead because it seems like he is wasting time with this degenerative sickness faster than everyone anticipated. Having the wedding while he is still able to remember it and be a part of it is the best way to bring his pops some happiness in his closing days. Elizabeth might not immediately understand Finn's intention to make Gregory the focal point of their wedding as anything other than his love for his father and desire to return to their family. Elizabeth might start to question whether the main reason Finn asked her to marry him was so that he could spark this excitement for his dying father, rather than so that he could spend the rest of his life with her as time goes on, and she notices how much more of his emphasis is on his dad than the wedding. Yikes. Dex Heller is advised to guard his back for a variety of reasons, according to General Hospital spoilers. Cyrus Renault will be prepared to take down Sonny Corinthos now that he might be released from prison earlier than expected. And his first move in all of this might be to damage his organization. General Hospital spoilers. Dex Heller should be concerned if history repeats again. According to GH teasers, Cyrus's first victim as a free man might be Dex. Renald had plans to fire Jason Morgan, Steve Burton, first when he first arrived in town and started pursuing Corinthos. After all, it's simpler to get rid of the mob boss himself if Sonny's right-hand guy is gone. Jason is sadly no longer with us, but Corinthos has a brand new, younger henchman at his side in the form of Dex. After Cyrus enters the real world, he might reconsider his plan and understand that Heller must go first in order to capture Sonny. According to General Hospital, GH, rumors for the week of October 16th, Austin Gatlin Holt, Roger Howarth, will question Dex about something. This might be connected to his and Jocelyn Jack's investigation into Ava Jerome's disappearance. Austin is aware of Cyrus's intentions and how desperately he wants to bring Sonny to justice. Due to his association with Corinthos and the group, as well as Heller's ongoing investigation into Ava's disappearance, Dex may come under attack. Either circumstance may make him a target, which would put him in Cyrus' line of fire. This implies that Jocelyn's worst fear for her lover may materialize, whether he ends up in the hospital or gets buried alive. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.